Secret Coders Old School Coding School. Lesson 1. Let's start coding. Hey, my name is Gene Yang. Today, I'm going to teach you how to code, how to program your computer. But first, a little bit about myself. I'm a cartoonist, which means I write and draw comic books and graphic novels. I also teach computer science. Right now, I'm working on a book with my friend Mike. Our book is called Secret Coders. It's about three kids, Hopper, Annie, and Josh, who learn how to code and level up. In this lesson, I refer to the book, but you definitely do not have to read the book in order to understand this lesson. In the lesson and in the book, I use a programming language called Logo. Logo is the very first programming language I ever learned. I learned it when I was a fifth grader. Nowadays, some people think Logo's old. Some people think Logo's out of date, but I still think it's awesome. Logo is a really powerful language capable of lots of stuff. But the best part, at least in my opinion, is the turtle. The turtle doesn't usually look like this. It usually looks more like this. In Logo, you can use commands to make the turtle move around and draw stuff. That's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So are you ready to get started? Yes! The first thing you'll need to do is install a Logo interpreter on your computer. This is a piece of software that makes it so that your computer can understand the Logo language. There are lots of different logo interpreters out there, but the one we're going to use in this lesson is called UCB Logo, which is awesome because it's free and it was also created at UC Berkeley. To download UCB Logo, just go to this URL. If you have any trouble, check out the super handy Secret Coders UCB Logo installation guides, which are linked right below. When you have UCB Logo up and running, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. This question mark right here means that you are ready to go. Your computer is asking you for its first logo command. In Secret Coders, Hopper and Annie experiment with their turtle by giving it different commands. We're going to do the same thing. In fact, we're even going to start with the same three commands that Hopper and Annie use. Forward, left, and right. These commands pretty much do what they sound like they do. Now when you use them, you got to give each one a number. For forward, the number tells the turtle how many steps to move forward. If you give it a small number, it'll move forward just a little bit. If you give it a big number, it'll move forward a lot. In the same way, left and right also need numbers, but these numbers tell the turtle how far to turn. A small number, and the turtle will just turn a little bit. A big number, and the turtle's going to turn a lot. So these are our first three commands. Let's give it a try. I'm going to start by typing forward 100. The turtle moved forward 100 steps. Now I'm going to type right 90. The turtle turns right, then forward 50. The turtle moves forward 50 steps, then right 90, then forward 100, right 90, and forward 50. There you have it, a rectangle. Now let's say you want to clear your screen so you can have the turtle draw a new picture. You'll have to use a command called clear screen. This is a really powerful command. It'll erase everything that you already drew. So be careful. I'm going to give you two more commands. If you want your turtle to move without drawing, you have to tell it to pen up, to pick its pen up. Then, when you're ready to draw again, tell it to pen down, to put its pen back down. So let's give these things a try. I'm going to start with a clear screen. And everything's gone. Next, let's draw a happy face. That finished a square, which represents the head of my face. Now I need to move into the square without drawing, so I can draw the eyes and mouth. I'm going to use pen up to do this. I'm in position to draw the eye. I'm going to pen down. There's the first eye. I'm going to use pen up and pen down to finish the rest of the face. And there you have it, a happy face. All right, maybe it's not happy, but at least it's not sad. There you have it, a not sad face. Let me share with you one last tip. Each of these commands has a shortcut version. So instead of typing forward, you could type FD. Left is LT. Right is RT. Clear screen is CS. Pen up is PU, and pen down is PD. Using these shortcut versions, you can go way faster. Let's give it a try. And there you have it, Steve from Minecraft. Thanks so much for being here for lesson one of Secret Coders Old School Coding School. If you're looking for more coding related fun, check out secret-coders.com. I'll see you next time.